Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm going to be get, showing you guys how to make this grid that I made here. Um, so eventually what it's going to do is I'm going to have uh, this, uh, I'm going to have these grids be contacts, so you'll be able to import them from your phone and then add your contacts into the grid here and then you'll be able to click on your contacts and see like uh, pictures of them and stuff like that. So. Um, basically how you make this grid is it's going to require a prefab, an empty object, and a script here. So how we implement that is we, in your hierarchy, you right click and create an empty. I'll just call it uh, grid2. And then you're also going to create whatever type of grid you want. So I'm going to make, uh, I just use plain as the grid here. Get that out from underneath that. And then I'll just change the color just to show you. So I'll just make it uh, light blue. And then how you make the prefab. I have a prefab folder here. All you do is you drag that object that you created in the hierarchy into your uh, project manager here and that automatically creates a prefab so the next step after that well you can see here this is now blue that just tells you that it's a prefab you can actually go ahead and delete that in, out of your hierarchy and the next step is going to be to create a script and so this script here is what we're going to be using. We, so I'll just create a new script. Why not? So right click, uh, create C sharp script. Just do map grid two. Open that up. And come on. Alright, there it goes. So basically, the only thing that you're going to have to make sure of is that your class name is uh, whatever your script is. We're going to uh, create a public, uh, transform, and then a tile prefab, which will be this section right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this script to our new grid to there and so then after we create that we have a public vector 2 size uh, we do vector 2 because we're just working with two dimensions because this is a two dimensional grid and then we create a uh, function here public void generate grid you can call it whatever you want we're just having a double for loop inside here. So for and then int x equals zero. I just have x there to represent the x axis. X is less than size dot x. So then we increment plus plus x plus plus there. And then same for y. Y equals zero. Y is less than size dot y. And then increment y there. So then how do we get this to populate? Uh, so we're using the, the keyword instantiate, and then parentheses, so it's instantiate, and then object. So what, which one we're going to be using is, if we go to our Unity documents, if you just type in instantiate Unity, you'll come to this page here, and we're actually going to be using this uh, fourth one down here. So we're going to have our object, we're going to have our vector 3 position, and we're also going to have our uh, quaternion, so whatever, that's the angle that we want. So, so we, we have our object here, our transform object, whatever, which object, so what are we transforming? We're transforming the plane that we we'll be inputting into the 
do save that so that it loads here. Wake up. Uh, reset. I'll just remove it and then add it again. It's not very happy today. Okay, I'll just add the first script in here. There we go. Not exactly sure why that one's not working. But, anyway, I'm just going to delete that script here. So we have instantiate tile prefab, which will be our, uh, what we're going to instantiate is the second plane here, so this light blue one. And then our size, so we have our vector 2 size, which will be our x, or our how wide we want it and how tall we want it. I'll just make it uh, 15 by 15. Save that. And then, so your vector 3, you do new vector 3, and then you have your 3 uh, values here for x, y, and z. So how I came up with this x times 270 is basically all I did was, so I played it, so grid 2, where are we at here, I found that, and then I watched up here where the position is, and then I moved it over, Oop. let me uh, get it out of the way here. Actually, let me set a couple of these to like 50. Well, actually, so here's what I did. Was I set each of these to 1 here, first of all. Save that. Alright, then I'll restart this here. Actually, I'm going to uh, delete this first grid here. So when we play this, we'll have our second grids here. Except that now we can't see them. And that's because our scales are set to 1. I'm just going to scale this up for us a minute here. Save that. Play it now. Alright, so this is what I did, was I, so there's 15 times 15 planes right now, so I basically, all I did was to get that spacing, was I watched this position here, this position X, and then I moved it over to where there's like a little gap in between there, so that's at about 270 right there, so, and then all I did was, I had the x times 270 for the x value, and then I did y times 270 for the y value, and then I set uh, z to negative 5, uh, basically because I'm going to have, so my background here for This brown background is set to zero at Z. And then this uh, foreground right here is set to negative 10. So I just set it to negative 5 to be in between that. And then uh, you do a comma there. And then quaternion dot Euler. And then, so that will change the angle of your object. And so, as you can see here, um, let's see. Hmm. So if I set it to zero, I'll show you guys here what happens. So 
because it creates like this weird it creates the angle of these at an angle of zero there and so to get it to come up flat with these things you have to change the angle of that I found it out to be 270 you know you might have to adjust it to whatever uh, view point you're looking at it from so So that's how I created that, and I will be uh, posting this code to my blog, so the link will be in this the description, and you'll be able to just copy it and paste it and use it for your own use. I just wanted to show you guys that so that I could um, save this for future reference and also to help you guys out if you're struggling with this I'm not necessarily an expert on this I just wanted to show you what I learned so I hope that helps you out in some way and so thanks for watching guys till next time